play a lot of cricket. I'm looking in the mirror, so foggy, but I've never seen clear. But never in my life have I played baseball. That is until today, because in three hours, I have a session booked at a baseball centre. And actually, I need to leave now, or I will be late. So, we managed to make the bus, and now it's time to plan out what we're going to do. Because obviously, I don't know a lot about baseball, and that's kind of the point of the video. But I would like to know a few things going into it, so I don't look like a complete mug. So luckily, I've got a mate who plays a little bit of baseball, and I'm going to give him a ring, and see if he can give us any tips and tricks. It'd be quite awkward if he didn't pick up. Up here. Mm. Hello. Hi. Okay, so I'm actually on my way to play a little bit of baseball. And I was wondering if you could give me any sort of tips, tricks, anything that you do that might make this a little bit of a smoother experience for me. Okay, okay. So there's not much to it. What you're gonna do, you're gonna get a nice stance, get your eye on the ball, and uh, just swing as hard as you can, right for the right for the cow corner. After those wise words of advice from Will, we made our way to the baseball centre, feeling fairly confident that my cricket skills would be reflected in my baseball ability. After some poor navigation, we finally ended up at first base and I got ready to face the first ball. Which predictably I miss, along with the second and the third, until finally. Okay, I mean, it wasn't a great strike. Let's be real, but look, it's progress. After making the first connection, I began to get better and better with some of my hits flying out of the park. I think it might have even gone over. Right, I'm getting into the swing of things, but still, that's out. I think I've hit like four in a row now. This is going pretty well. Oh, I need to go higher. Woo. Oh, that's rubbish. I get a little spin. I've seen them do the little spin sometimes. Maybe that will help. That's my best one yet. It's gone 222 metres. One cool thing about this baseball centre is that they had a system set up which allowed you to read the distance you hit the ball as well as your bat speed. No, flat. I am definitely getting the hang of it. I think it just takes you a while for your brain to get used to the idea that you're holding a circular, spherical bat. Oh, that's rubbish. Okay, I'm definitely hitting it a lot harder now. Who said you couldn't bring cricket into baseball? No run. That was terrifying. Wait on. Number one! But the distance is probably what you want to be going for. The distance wise, uh, the best someone's ever done is 330. Okay, so I've just spoken to some of the staff and they said that the furthest it's ever been hit is 330 feet. So, what I'm going to be aiming for is 270, because I'm not going to set myself at 330, because apparently he was an American that had played baseball before. I'm a cricketer, haven't played baseball before, might have a little bit of advantage with hand eye coordination, but that's about it. Straight into the hands of the fielder. And, and in cricket terms, that would be a <laughs> top edge. Say I work with the keeper's head for six. <laughs> Some of the videos come out like at your head. <laughs> oh, oh, that felt good. 240, hit the stand. 240? Oh, I'm not going to be that's the best one yet. <laughs> I've dug out the Yorker. Turns out that time the ball did not go over the camera and actually fired straight into the lens. Thank God somehow it didn't break, otherwise this would have been a very expensive video. After nearly breaking the camera, I decided it might be a good idea to take a little bit of a break. Okay, so my hands are feeling a little bit sore. I had to take a break from me hitting the ball. I thought we'd try a non cricketer non baseball player trying to hit some balls. Ollie, there we are. Here's Ollie, he's my cameraman, and he's going to have a go, see if he can beat my current 270. I will be incredibly upset. foot hit not only gave my hands time to recover but also made my current best of 240 look a whole lot better whilst i'm getting ready to head back out there and try and reach that 270 foot hit it's a great time for you to scroll down hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already if we could hit 25,000 subscribers by christmas that would be truly magical and with that out of the way it's time for me to get back out there and hit some balls well not out there but you know what i mean i've done the molly oh 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 
You know what all this has made me realise? Maybe it is better for cricketers to stick to cricket and baseballers to stick to baseball. Speaking of which, I happen to bring this along with me. But let's see what a cricketer can do with a cricket bat. Absolutely nowhere near. Because I mean, this is so much lighter. I'm going to try a late cut and then we're going to pull it in. Yeah, that the end of the Turns out that was an absolute flop of an idea as I got nowhere near my current best of 240. Come to think of it, an actual wooden bat may have been a smart idea. Anyway, it's probably best to stick with a baseball bat. It's not a home run, but I'm quite 240. Oh, that felt good. Maybe it is better for cricketers to stick to cricket and baseballers to stick to baseball. It's out of the park. And with that, we completed our goal of a 270 foot hit, which placed me at number four on the first base leaderboard. Which, considering I came in there with no prior experience with baseball, I thought was pretty good. Oscar? Yeah. It's 10 pm on a weeknight. It's minus four degrees and I'm freezing. We're carrying an aluminium tripod, a thousand pounds of camera gear, not to forget the plastic cricket bat. What are we doing? Live it. Honestly, I see nothing wrong with it. Let's just get to the train station. My life been looking gorgeous. Take one day at a time. I pray I never have to force it. Got bad women for me today, man. He